Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Epcot and there are so many new things I cannot wait to show you guys. First, the walkway is open by Spaceship Earth so we can walk straight back to World Showcase and we don't have to walk around anymore. And Space 220 has a new menu that I wanted to come out and try. Plus, there's a brand new pretzel bread pudding in the Germany Pavilion that looks amazing. Anywho's, let's go do this. Today is March 22nd and it is such a beautiful day out. I'm so excited to just go explore around World Showcase, check out the new walkway, and hopefully we can get into Space 220. Space 220 is one of the hardest reservations to get in Disney right now. And I don't have a reservation, so I'm gonna try to join the walk-up list, or even if I can sit at the lounge, that would be great. I haven't been back here to make a video since the opening day. And like I said, they have a new menu, so I had to come out and try it. But out of all the new things, the most exciting thing for me is the ability to just walk straight to World Showcase. You guys know for the longest time because of the construction, we've been walking around Spaceship Earth, but now we can walk straight back, kind of like we used to. And Guest Relations is closed now. That used to be over here. And they have it located kind of at the front of the park over there now, just because of the construction shifted. I cannot wait until Epcot is completely construction free. I mean, it's always going to be changing, but it's been under a state of construction and walls for years now. And just to see things getting a little bit cleared up and finished gets me so excited. We used to have to walk that way and then go around and kind of near Guardians, but now we're actually walking straight up and alongside uh, Spaceship Earth. This is so exciting. Like, honestly, it is so amazing because I used to always just like walk in and sometimes just beeline it straight to World Showcase, and now we get to do it again. They have a little bit of an updated map right here and you can see this is where we just walked in and it takes you alongside Spaceship Earth and then right here is like the creation shop and straight into World Showcase. Before, like I said, we used to have to come this way and then all the way around, but now straight through. I like it. I'm still trying to get used to the different Epcot neighborhoods because I still want to call it Future World, but that's not what it is anymore. And to be honest, sometimes I forget what the neighborhoods actually are. So I like that they have like a little legend here because you have World Celebration, which is the blue, which is all of this. Then you have World Discovery, which is all the red, including Guardians of the Galaxy. And then you have World Nature, which is down here. And that's like the seas and the land. And then you've got World Showcase, which is yellow. And it's all here. And I really like this map. Like <laughs> this map is actually really cool. This is now the first time I've been behind Spaceship Earth in probably, I would say, a good two and a half, three years. Just look at how exciting this is. I mean, I'm really, really happy about this. Project Tomorrow is opened up on this side. The bubble gum wall is back. And you can even see the old Siemens like VIP lounge right here. This is really, really cool. Oh, and also the Connections Cafe is open so you can see the sign now. And there it is, Connections Cafe, right next to Creations. You can see Creations and then Connections. Creations and Connections. I can't wait to actually see what food is actually in here. This is going to be like the quick service location. Zach Ridley said, who by the way I am obsessed with, the name Creations Cafe is because of the core idea of Epcot and connecting people and I cannot wait. I don't know what they're going to be serving in there. I know that I did hear there was going to be like a quick service pizza spot, but I don't know if that's true or not. Either way, I'm excited. As much as I'm excited for it though, I still do miss the electric umbrella because this is where the electric umbrella was. It was right here, two stories high, and it was right in between the breezeway here. I've gotten a lot of good food from the electric umbrella, and they used to have a talking trash can in there. I wonder what they did with that trash can. It better be back in there. Like, I hope the talking trash can isn't gone. You know you're obsessed with Disney when you get super excited about a walkway opening up, but I miss Future World, and I miss Interventions, and the sum of all thrills, and soon that's going to be opening up too, but I don't know if that's going to be a part of Connections Cafe or if it's going to be something different. 
So that was connections and like I said, the electric umbrella. And I'm not too sure if you guys remember over here, this was the temporary, the temporary mouse gears location, but it used to have a lot of cool things in there. Like uh, last they had Colortopia, before that they had like some of all thrills, they had the house in there. So I'm excited to see if that's gonna be something different. But we really need to get going to Space 220. Like I said, we don't have a reservation, so we could be waiting hours. I'm here. I'm here to do it, though. So we're gonna. We're definitely gonna try the new menu. But also, I wanted to point out my new Spider-Man shirt. You guys know I partnered up with Roosevelt, so they have a brand new Marvel line coming out right now. They're going with Spider-Man, and I'm gonna be wearing the shirts the next couple days. If you want to buy one of the cool shirts, there's gonna be a link in the description to my personal collection page, and you can use the promo code PMM20 to get 20% off your first order. And I'm excited, I love it, look at it. This is uh, Miles Morales, I think. Very fancy. They also took down the construction walls over here. Look at that. It's like everything's opening up. And uh, over there is Space 220. You know, I don't even know if this has been down for a while because I tend to not come over here unless I'm going to Space 220. Mission Space isn't my favorite attraction, but if we get into Space 220, then I'm gonna ride Mission Space. <laughs> Here is a look at the menu, and right now we're gonna be looking at lunch, and uh, it's a two course lunch, so it's $55 per person, it's prefixed, and you get to pick one appetizer, one entree, and then for dinner, it's $79 per person, you get to pick one uh, appetizer, one entree, and one dessert, and a couple of the new menu items is a quinoa burger that looks absolutely amazing, the steak frites, which is basically the coffee space rub flat iron with fries and broccoli, they also have a supreme chicken breast that they added and space getty and shrimp that all sounds really really good cool. those are all the new ones for the appetizers I don't think they have any new appetizers I think they changed the space greens a little bit and uh, that's about it and I do know they have some new drinks and desserts so we'll see when we get up there but we're gonna head right up the right up the walkway here and look at that, they had a walk-up availability. They said it'll be a couple minutes, but I will gladly just sit here and wait. I am so excited. Like, I didn't think we were gonna, gonna get in, but we're, we're going in, we're going to space. All right, it is time. We're going on in. Fancy. If you guys haven't seen this before, you actually have to take a Stellavator all the way up to space to go to the restaurant because we're leaving Epcot and we're going to space. And uh, they give you a little boarding pass and we're gonna, we're gonna hop in the elevator, the Stellavator. <laughs> we're going up. Yeah, we're going up. All right. That's that way? Yep, right this there way. There we go. Look at that. From Earth to the space station. Hi friends, if you look below, you'll see Epcot. Right. If you look above, you'll see our green spot. And later, you'll see the Centauri Space Station. After I say lift off, lift, lift off. off. You're ready to board the Mark V Stellar. Look, the latest there's Mission Space. Today, no and you're going to see Epcot. You'll see Spaceship Earth right there. You see it? If you look above, you'll see Centauri Space Station coming into view. Once we dock, gather your belongings and exit through the open airlock. A Space 220 agent will be waiting for you. Hi friends, this is our hydroponic drill zone. This is where we get all the vegetables here at the space station. This way, astronauts can further explore space and have to put on our resources. You guys can go right over to the cedars and enjoy. Thank you. All right, we made it to our table and look at this view. I love being up here. I forgot how amazing it is. It's just so breathtaking. I feel like I'm kind of back at the uh, Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser at the moment. I just love being up here because it's like you're just kind of floating through space. Like I said, it reminds me of being back on the Galactic Star Cruiser. Hi friends! Nice! Look at that. They got a good table. Look at that. What a view. And sometimes you can see the astronauts like lightsaber battling. They, they surf out there. You can see a space dog. You can definitely see a lot of cool things in space. I 
I looked over the menu and most of the uh, appetizers are all the same. They had a couple name changes. Uh, the Space Greens is new, so I think we're gonna try the Space Greens, it's like a salad uh, for an appetizer. Now, with the lunch, it's $55, you get to pick one appetizer, one entree, so it's kind of like a prefix meal. But uh, last time I was here, I think I had the calamari, and it was really, I like the calamari, so I definitely wanna try something new. Here is the space green salad, and this looks so good. Doesn't that look like tuna on there? But it's actually compressed watermelon. It's compressed watermelon, it's a bib of lettuce, and then it's spiced pecans with an apple cider dressing. And I had to get it, because like I said, it's new, but I didn't think it would look this good. Like, this is fancy. As it comes to the entrees, like I said, they have the steak frite, which is a new item, but I've had the steak before. I love the coffee space rub in it, and this is kind of the same, except for it comes with broccolini and french fries. Then they have the quinoa burger, which is a plant-based burger, and then they have space sketty. Space sketty with shrimp, and I think I'm gonna go with that. I think it sounds so cool. I never had space sketty before. On top of the new entrees, they actually have a couple new drinks. They have an Orion Old Fashioned, which is Buffalo Trace with Grand Marnay and then Chocolate Bitters. And then they have the Stratosphere Strawberry Lemonade. And it's the one that I decided on getting. This is Tito's with Thyme, Simple Syrup, Strawberry, Fresh Lemon Juice. So it looks really refreshing. I do want to try the Orion Old Fashioned though, because you guys know I love the Old Fashions. They had a salad just like this on the menu before, but I think it was with pears. So I'm very intrigued. I mean, the, the watermelon, like I said, it kind of looks like tuna. All right, let's try this Stratosphere Strawberry Lemonade. It looks really pretty. Look at this. I like it. Oh, it's good. It's refreshing. That's the thing. But let's get this time down there a little bit. Get a little bit of the salt in there. Kind of don't even want to use the the straw though, because I like the uh, the rim. I'm excited to try this salad. You guys know I'm not a big salad eater, only because for the most part I don't like dressing. But I, you know what I mean. Like eating greens isn't you know what I mean something flavorful. You have to add the dressing to it. But there's a lot of things that I like in here. I like the apple vinaigrette. I love the compressed watermelon, the pecans. So this might be a salad that I might be all in for so I mean I'm excited like <laughs> look at it it looks so good doesn't it so here we go that's my kind of salad right there holy moly that is so good holy moly the watermelon is phenomenal the space greens is so good I really wasn't expecting to like this salad as much as I do. Like, it's a nice cut between the pecans and the sweet, like, apple vinaigrette. And then the compressed watermelon just really takes it to another level. This is something I'm going to enjoy. I'm going to eat it all. <laughs> The chef actually came out to talk to me and talk about the salad itself. And another thing, because I was thinking, I'm like, this salad is just so sweet, but they actually tossed the compressed watermelon and lemon and lime juice on top of the apple vinaigrette there. So it, it packs a very sweet, crisp, like, feeling, and I love it. <laughs> And now my Space Getty and Shrimp has a ride. And it's so funny because before I was calling it Space Getty. Because, I don't know, does anybody else call their Spaghetti Sketty? You know what I mean? But it's Space Getty and Shrimp. And it's basically just sautéed shrimp, spaghetti, cherry tomatoes, basil, garlic, and a kind of white wine sauce. And it looks so good. The shrimp looks phenomenal. And the presentation is really, really fancy. If this was what Space Spaghetti looks like, I kind of I kind of believe it. Kudos to the cast member taking care of me because he came out and he brought me a spoon and he was like I brought you a spoon because I eat my spaghetti with a spoon and I was like ah he knows what's going on. So first let's try a shrimp. Let's try a shrimp on its own here. Look at this. Looking very fancy. Mm. That's good shrimp. I like it. <laughs> Now, let's swirl our fancy space sketty with our space silverware here. Grab a little bit right here, give it a twirl. That's the way. Perfect. 
you have to have a spoon with space spaghetti, you know? Got a little of the tomato and a little basil in there, everything in one bite. Oh yeah, that's very good. Very light, very light and refreshing. That's one thing I can say. Like, I don't want to have a heavy, like, meal. That's another reason why I didn't get the steak. And this is, this is kind of perfect for a little lunch. Yeah, I'm definitely liking this a lot. This is really, really good. And like I said, perfect for a lunch. Absolutely perfect. Oh, wow, they give you so much pasta. Holy moly. I would definitely get this pasta again. Like I said, it's not too like overly garlicky or anything like that. It's like the perfect blend. It's very light, very refreshing, and the shrimp is phenomenal. So, win-win here. Don't be deceived by the bowl because like when it first came out, I was like, oh, it's just like a big pile of spaghetti, but it's deep. Like this is, <laughs> they give you so many noodles. You're definitely gonna have a to-go box because I can't eat this much noodles. I mean, pasta sits hard in your stomach, but look at that. That is so much. One of my all-time favorite clips of The Office is when Michael is doing the rabies marathon and uh, he's trying to carb overload and he's getting all the fettuccine Alfredo from Alfredo's. And it's just so funny because every time I think about it, every time I eat pasta like this, I think about it. Like carb load, you know? I think I had to call it quits on the pasta. There was a lot there, so I'm definitely gonna grab a to-go box. But I wasn't planning on getting desserts because I do wanna try that pretzel bread pudding, but uh, I'm gonna wait for a friend to do that, so that's gonna be a couple hours from now. So I think I'm gonna look at one of the new desserts that they're offering. They have a coconut panna cotta, that's new. And then they also have a shortcake that is new. And even though it's on the lunch prices, you can still order these a la carte. Uh, so it's $55 plus the $14 that it would cost for it. So is that like $69? Which isn't too bad because I think it's $79 for the three course meal. I'm pretty sure. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try this shortcake. It looks really amazing actually. And holy moly, here it is. Look at that shortcake. Doesn't that look amazing? Like I don't even know what's going on right now. It definitely looks very space themed. So we have a nice little air cake there at the bottom. Then we have some mascarpone mousse, which I'm assume is that right there. And then we've got some strawberries and then the fancy little sugar. They have these on the Galactic Star Cruiser, a lot of them. And I can't wait to dive into this. It looks so good, doesn't it? All right, we're just going in for it here. That looks so good. <laughs> I'm not even too sure what this is or what to expect from this because it just looks so good. And I also got myself some coffee and I can't wait to show you guys the coffee. But here we go, cheers. Wow, so this is another very light, refreshing dessert. Yeah, I feel like I kind of did the complete opposite. Last time I was here, I made a video. I had everything heavy, you know what I mean? I had a big 24 ounce coffee, space rub, steak, fried calamari, and then I think I had the Oreo dessert here last time. And now I kind of took everything a little bit lighter and I kind of like them both ways. And also, look at the coffee. Look at this. It comes in a clear cup. Look at, I like how they have all the like special space utensils. I just love being able to see the creamer get dumped in there and then you get to mix it around. I think I'm gonna invest in clear coffee cups from now on. This is the way. <laughs> a little bit more. I don't know, a lot of people like a lot of coffee creamer. I'm kind of in between there. And it's glass too. A little coffee and dessert, just the way I like it. Cheers. This goes together so amazing. Like a little bit of coffee, a little bit of dessert. This really picks me up for the day. Holy moly, I just realized that before I said, if we get into Space 220, then I'm gonna ride Mission Space. So I'm glad I stuck to the light things because I'm a man of my word and we're doing it. I don't know if I'm gonna do orange version or green version, the less intense version. I don't know. Oh, decisions. I gotta finish my coffee though. I need the coffee. Coffee and dessert. Yeah. 
just when I thought we were done, take a look at this. This is the coconut panna cotta, and the chef actually brought it out to me because she really wanted me to show it off. It's a very allergy-friendly dessert. It doesn't have any dairy, eggs, or nuts in it. It's fruit-based, and uh, she really wanted to show it off because, you know, when it comes to desserts, it's really hard to get past that allergy step, especially dairy. So, uh, yeah, we're going to give it a go and give it a try. I'm excited. It looks really good, though, doesn't it? I love being able to show you guys little bits of different items too. So it's always fun. This looks absolutely amazing. Got a little coconut here, and we're gonna grab some of this, put it on there, grab a little bit of the fruit. I can't wait to give it a go. There we go. Wow. I like this better than the shortcake. Don't say anything. No. <laughs> I really do like this a lot better than the shortcake. <laughs> it's so funny because it's so light and airy. Almost all the desserts I'm feeling are great today. And then like I said later on, we're gonna get a nice heavy pretzel bread pudding. <laughs> it's gonna be a very adventurous day today, so I'm glad we got the salad. And now we are back on Earth. And I gotta say, I love Space 220. I love it because of the atmosphere, the food is good, and it's just really amazing just being up there, looking out at Earth. And today, we had a lot of the lighter options, and I really enjoyed them. Like, I've come here before, I had like the 24 ounce coffee space rubbed rib eye, and that was phenomenal, but it's so heavy, and it's expensive because you have to pay an extra $20. But today, we kept it light and simple, and it was very enjoyable. Like, like, you know what I mean? And I love all the cast members that work here too. They're always so friendly and inviting. And uh, now I'm gonna stick to my word and we're gonna ride Mission Space. Like, we're gonna go back into space and then we're gonna get the bread pudding, but that's gonna be a little bit later on once we get to World Showcase. I'm not the only person that doesn't like Mission Space really because right now it is basically the height of like spring break. So it's very busy season here and look at the wait times. So you can do the less intense version which is Earth and that is a five minute wait or you can do the intense version and that is 15 minutes. And I think every other ride probably in the park is, I, I bet you like the people mover at Magic Kingdom is probably a 30 minute wait. I bet you this is the lowest wait time out of any attraction at Walt Disney World right now at this moment. I wanted to check just to be sure, but I think I'm right. The Triceratops Spin in Animal Kingdom has a 10 minute wait. Same thing with Turtle Talk, Walt Disney's Presents, like <laughs> the, the Mad Tea Party. Everything has a lower wait than the green version of Mission Space. Like, isn't that crazy? Like, <laughs> it's really true what I just said. <laughs> But you know what? Hey, I feel like we're gonna go all in today. I haven't done the Mars mission, the more intense version, and probably, I would say like a good two years, honestly. I always come and I kind of chicken out and I do the Earth mission, but I think we're gonna do it, even after just eating. And that kind of scares me because they do have uh, basically like, uh, Barf bags, I would say. They have barf bags in the ride. So uh, that just gives you a sign of what what's to come maybe. But not nah, it's not gonna happen to me. I'm I'm kind of basically like an iron stomach here. But we're going all in like I said. Mars mission. Stay to the right. The orange mission. <laughs> oh boy. We got a little caution here. Green team, less intense training. For those who prefer exciting rides with some intensity, no spinning. Orange team, more intense training. For those who enjoy intense thrill rides, spinning. Simulated, uh, simulation prolonged sensation of increased forces on body associated with space travel. You may experience motion sickness during and after this adventure. Look at this. I love coming through the more intense version because you get a real good close look at this. But uh, if you go through the other side, you really can't, can't get a good look. And you can look in the middle there, you might see some horizons throw back. We're making our way in, but I always like to point out the first dog in space is a Dalmatian. I have a feeling I'm gonna probably regret my decision to do this ride afterwards, but I'm still gonna enjoy it. I'm still gonna have fun. I mean, you're in Disney, I'm in Epcot. I wish they'd bring back Gary Sinise. He was my favorite thing about this attraction. 
or made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces, simulators, or spinning, you may exit the flight training area now. Ask a uniformed crew member for directions to the green team, less intense training area. Or spinning, you may exit the flight training area now. I'm Ask in danger. A crew member for directions. I feel like there are so many phobias at work here. Tight spaces, heights, spinning. <laughs> We're going all the way in. Oh boy. <laughs> Gotta put our harness on here. There we go. Nice and tight. Commander, three months. Three months. First stage separation and manual control. Oh. Loading flight plan. At least there's nothing Engineer, to see in here. Reminder, you will activate you can see my bald head in the reflection. The or is that Mars? <laughs> I do have to say, it really cools you off in here, though. The AC is beautiful. <laughs> it's really pumping out. Cabin pressure is good. Check the signal strength. Here are the space sick bags, just in case. Might need those. I'm gonna hang on to that. And this one looks a little wrinkled up here. They're also great souvenirs. some g-force like on your face like you, you can feel your cheeks like just kind of melting it's, it's intense but I got my bag with me now I've got a space sick bag for my space trading cards from space 220 so I can put them in here and keep them and uh, carry them around with me little souvenir don't you say well there you have it that is mission space it's still a fun ride. It's just really a lot of intense pressure. That's, how, that's my best way like, to uh, like, uh, basically explain what the ride is like. You just feel a lot of pressure coming down on your face. And uh, I still like the concept of it. Like, it's still it's pretty amazing. It's simulating space travel. And now I think we're going to probably make our way to World Showcase. I ran into some friends and they're vlogging today. What's your channel? Extraordinary. Extraordinary jeans. 
Oh, nice! Yes, extraordinary things and extraordinary things. I like it. Make sure you guys check them out and subscribe. And what are you doing today? Just hanging out? Just hanging out and hanging out and get up some flies and maybe. Yeah, that's the way. So Sounds like a perfect Epcot day. Well, thanks, guys. I hope you have a great day. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye. They were really fun. Make sure you check out their channel. I'll put a link in the description. But I love it. I love running into people in the parks and then they say they got a channel. So I always try to, you know, give them a shout out so that you guys can check them out. Because I watch a lot of vlogs, you know what I mean? So I subscribed instantly. Now we made our way to World Showcase and it's actually looking really beautiful. It's a nice day or a nice little uh, evening to walk around World Showcase. We're gonna head back to Germany. All right, we made our way back to Germany. And you know, I'm very excited to try the bread pudding. I was sitting down and just kind of relaxing for a couple hours, so I digested and I met up with my friend Kristen and we're gonna try it, you know? Two of my best favorite things, bread pudding and pretzels, especially Germany pretzels. And it's in Summerfest, so uh, it's kind of like the little quick service in the back. A lot of people don't even know there's a quick service in Germany. You know that there's the beer garden, which is right there, and I love to go there. But on this side, we have Summerfest, and this is the quick service. And they have brats, and they have beers, and now pretzel bread pudding. Here it is, pretzel bread pudding, $4.79. And you do it right at the pickup window, right here in the back. This is probably the prettiest dessert I think I've ever seen sold here in Epcot. Look at this. It looks so heavy, and I don't know if they put caramel and that vanilla sauce on there, but I cannot wait to dive into it. Like, this has got me so excited. Look at this, we're gonna have to cut into it, and I can't wait to see like all of the uh, sauces kind of just like run down the side there. Look at that. Oh my lord. All right, we're going in here. We're going in for the bite. It's good. I like it. I don't taste much pretzel. <laughs> I, I kind of just taste like very delicious bread pudding, but I love it. Definitely feel like it's more of a like the, the coffee crumb cake. But I, I, like I said, I don't taste much pretzel, but I do love it. I think if you ask for extra vanilla sauce, that's probably a key. Like I, I should try to go in there and be like, hey, hook me up. Give me some of that extra sauce. Honestly, I think it's the same vanilla sauce as uh, the vanilla sauce that's on the strudels inside the beer garden. So like, that's why I like it so much. You know, I love that. Yeah, I love that sauce. I love the, the apple strudel. So make a little pretzel uh, bread pudding with that. It's the way. Look at this. I ran into my friend Henry and look at his shirt. Any who's, any who's, and look at the fedora. This is the greatest thing I think I've ever seen. Thank you so much. I'm dying right now. I am so happy. Wow, that is amazing. Thank you, man. <laughs> How awesome was that kid with his shirt? It literally made my night seeing that. It said Eddie Who's on it. So he made that shirt, or his family made that shirt, but I kind of feel honored now. Like it instantly made me smile. We made our way back out to Future World, or not Future World, and take a look at this view. It's very rare to see Spaceship Earth all lit up during the day like this, but I love it. Isn't it beautiful? Holy moly, the only thing we're missing is a monorail. A nice monorail to come by, but that could take a while. It's happening. Alert, alert. <laughs> And with that, I think we are done here. You probably can't hear me because the Beacons of Magic is actually happening at the moment. And I always like coming out because it's really nice lighting and it's pretty. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!